this demo, I've contrived another schema called looping demos. And what I've done, first of all, is I have an element called children, which has the exact same structure as over here. Then I have another element called offspring with a slightly different structure. And I have yet a third structure with family, then children, and then a couple of selected fields. So what we're going to demonstrate here is a couple of different ways to map data. The first one would be the mass copy, or I call it sometimes bulk copy. We want to copy all the children over here to the same children over here. And let's test that. So we'll do a save of the map. And on this map, we need to set our test file name, like usual here. So we're going to go map looping demo. Go to the properties and make sure instead of generate, we use XML. And then here's the name of the XML that we're going to use as input. And we'll turn off all the validation to get fewer errors while testing. So now I'm going to do test map. Slide over here. And there we go. And you can see here, we need more room to see it. This is the output. So you can see my three children, fake children here, Sally, Johnny, and Leroy. And uh, you do kind of see the, uh, ooh, that's one thing, the bulk mapping functoid actually copied in the namespace of the data on the left side. So that could actually be a reason not to use the bulk functoid unless you're going from two schemas of the exact same type. So the alternative to that, but first of all, before we leave that, look what it did. It, I mean, just that one functoid, it basically built this whole file. So we have children, child name, child age, child, child salary, child birth date, etc. The only bad thing about it is it did copy the namespace over instead of using this namespace. Okay, so the alternative to that would be the following. We just simply copy child name to the right place. Child name here, child age, child salary, and child birth date. So we had to drag four fields, and now we save and test. And you can see here we got a totally different result. So we did get the three children, but notice they are all kind of lumped together. Then we got the three ages, and then we have the three salaries, and then we have the three birth dates. So that's obviously not what we wanted. So one thing that might fix that, let's try the looping functoid here. Let's put the loop from children to children, and let's try that again. So you see how that fixed that issue. So now it properly grouped the children together. And then we have Sally, Johnny, and Leroy. OK, so that's a couple of ways you can put your data together. Um, I'm going to go back to my schema now and add one additional thing. So I have a schema here called looping demos. And maybe here I want to add a new element called child counter or child position sequence sequence number and we'll set that to an integer and since I changed the schema I'm going to go ahead and do a build on the project here and so the reason I did that I want to show you this functoid called index actually iteration so we're going to put the iteration counter here, and then we could use children or child name, I believe, and then copy it over here to child sequence, and then we test that. So you see the sequence number, the first one is 1, the second one is 2, and the third one is number 3. So that's an illustration of what the iteration functoid is all about. This loop really isn't much different, so let's just show you again. What if we put child name here and age, 
and here we put name and birth date. And now we run that. So the first part is the same. And then down here is my offspring. And notice this time it was actually attributes. So sometimes attributes will behave different than elements. So here I have an element, I mean, element called offspring with then two attributes, name and age. And then here I had family. And under family, I have children. And then I have two attributes. So that's several different ways of looking at how looping would typically work in most schemas. So in this video, we learned how to use the iteration. Uh, we talked about the bulk map, or the mass copy functoid and the looping functoid and how to get from one loop on one side to one loop on the other.